Alla Vida is a new restaurant serving up authentic Italian cuisine in the West Loop. Its chef de cuisine, Darren Underway, is here in our Studio 41 kitchen teaching us how to make their famous ricotta dumplings. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks for having me. And you actually say the name of the dish because I'm going to butcher it. <laughs> yes, it's a cacio e pepe, okay. which is basically cheese and pepper. There's oh. a lot of pepper. A lot of, oh, a lot really? of good going on. Does it make it difficult to eat? Because I know when I put too much pepper in my food, I'm like, ah! No, honestly, with the richness of all the butter and, and uh, uh, cheese, the pepper just works out really well. Okay, so. okay. Right. Let's get started because I am a fan of dump any kind of dumplings, but they also look like they're very time consuming. Yeah, actually this this is probably the most simple uh, way of doing such a, a really uh, popular dish that we have at the restaurant. Um, all it is really is ricotta um, that we have right here. And then we have some all-purpose flour. Oh, so it's made all into one instead of the ricotta being on the inside of the dumpling. Yeah, so actually as you mix all of these ingredients together, some Parmesan and uh, one egg, as you mix all of these together, they actually it actually turns into a uh, dumpling uh, with, with cheese in the middle as it cooks. So that, that actual uh, casing around forms and there's this really nice, uh, almost like gooey center. So is this, when you're ma making the dough, is this one of those things that you kind of barely mix together? Yeah, so you want to combine it fully, make okay. sure it's uh, all together. And it, it just kind of comes into a uh, softer, um, almost, I don't want to say, uh, like Play-Doh, but yeah. then you put it into, uh, as you mix it, like so, you get it into a, a full, um, fully mixed dough. And uh, eventually, as you mix it, we put it right into uh, a piping bag right here. Oh, okay. And then as we pipe it, as you can see, we put a little flour down. Okay. So it's not a situation where you gotta roll it out or anything. You just no, pipe. but actually this is actually a really cool uh, way of uh, like kind of getting kids involved. Yeah, or, that's what I was Like thinking. you doing it at home, doesn't make much of a mess. And kinda so like then what you do is we take a line right here Oh, just cool. kind of clip yeah. it out. And then we take a little more flour. The flour on the outside is what kind of makes that, uh, like it seals in all that good cheese and Parmesan Not and stuff like it. that. Okay. Roll so it we around. roll it to about nice even size. Are and you using from any there, kind of special flour or is it just, uh, all, just all purpose flour? Oh, okay. And then for the restaurant, we, we do a lot of these. This is our number one selling pasta. So basically, we cut them into nice little pieces like this. And the key to this one is that we let it sit uh, overnight in semolina, which is like a, kind of like cornmeal, but it's like a, it's a wheat flour that's uh, like coarse ground. Okay. So we would cut them like this and then put them in semolina overnight. Um, so what I does actually, that do for it? Uh, so like we've been saying, that, that inside. It just makes that. Yeah, so I think like a pierogi kind of. Okay. It's like when you open it up, there's like that cheese filling. So when it cooks, that flour makes it a uh, actual um, dumpling itself. Oh, so. fantastic. Okay, so you talk about authentic Italian cuisine. That's yes. what Alta is about. Exactly. So is this, this is obviously an authentic Italian dish. Yeah, so um, there's, there's very traditional ways of doing it. You use the pasta water, pecorino cheese, a lot of fresh ground black pepper, mm. and uh, essentially it's, it's a pan sauce. So what, what you'll see what we make is, uh, as we cook this pasta, we make um, a little bit of a glaze. Okay. So traditionally, pasta water, so it has all the starches from yeah. the pasta, mm. so it helps make that sauce really uh, sticky and coats nice and glazy mm. as well. Like um, a gold, I've heard it called. <laughs> yes, exactly. This is not a low calorie uh, no. pasta dish. So. Oh, we don't care. No, we love gorgeous. it. Yeah. <laughs> so, sure Alla Vida itself uh, just opened actually around the same time you guys uh, opened your, or started your show. Yeah, ah, good luck, so, right? Yeah, in September. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it's a family restaurant, uh, casual Italian cuisine, uh, part of Boca Restaurant Group. Uh, and. We are very, very, very busy and very happy to be busier. Yeah, uh, we have seats at the bar gorgeous. that are open. Uh, we can book on open table. 
uh, at alavitachicago.com. Too. Yeah, so. the interior looks just amazing, Absolutely. and I've so seen the reviews are off the charts fantastic. Yeah, we're very, very happy. Uh, Kehoe Design did all the design for us. Uh, it's 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 incredible. So, do you have two bar areas for cocktails? No, there's one Just actual the one? bar okay. area. Yeah, and uh, you know that's open at five, so people want to come in. We have bar seating. We have we have all that. So Ooh, okay. fun. All right. So, so how long do we have to boil this? So it only takes about a two three minutes to fully cook. So what I'll do is essentially start this glaze with some pasta water. Mm -hmm. So pasta water right in here and you'll see it kind of reduce out a little bit and then from there this uh, low calorie people look away <laughs> so we have and some I'm butter all here I'm yeah. all Ooh, yes. butter, 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 butter. Oh my God. that's why it tastes so good oh yes. man so then from here we will add a healthy amount of fresh black pepper and you're gonna think it's too much but as you eat it, it, it actually will take on a darker color in the actual whole sauce itself. And he's still going with yep, the pepper. Yep, still folks. going. Now you're eyeballing it. Is there a, a, a kind of accurate measurement for two tablespoons? Or? I would say yeah. So it's all about kind of like what you enjoy. Okay. I, I, I really like the black pepper. I think traditionally it's supposed to have a lot of black pepper. So um, we'll let everything kind of come together. So as I'm, what I'm doing here is essentially emulsifying the butter mm -hmm. and the water, so it's gonna make it that nice, creamy, uh, rich-looking sauce. That's what I love about the pasta water. It just makes it look like you added milk or some yeah. kind of uh, cream or something. It makes it just great. Yeah, so um, this is honestly, like if you were gonna do this at home, uh, a very simple way of doing it all in the day before, and then since they sit in semolina overnight, they, uh, all you need to do is go from fridge to boiling water. You can do it with red sauce, you can do it, like the dumpling itself are great. Um, they're very versatile. So as the sauce is coming together, I'm gonna check on my dumplings, they're almost there. What other kind of dishes do you serve? So we have, honestly, I would say a very approachable Italian menu. Uh, anything from chicken parmesan to a chopped salad. Um, to half roasted chicken with uh, agri dolce and salsa verde, mm. uh, all pastas made in house, um, mm. Mm. And, and I just think it's it's simple, but we we take the best care and have the best quality product yeah. uh, using farms uh, as much as possible and local ingredients. So, Goodness, I was looking oh, at that the dessert. Dessert looks so so good I was like, too. Oh wow, that's <laughs> okay. delicious. So these are ready. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and drop these into the sauce. And then all that extra starch from the dumplings is going to kind of uh, coat, coat them and it's gonna make that sauce nice and, and uh, shiny. So then from here, uh, I'm gonna add a little more black pepper because I'm a fan. <laughs> and then we're gonna take some of this Pecorino cheese, Pecorino Romano, it's mm. a sheep's milk cheese. Mm -hmm. And off <laughs> heat, mm -hmm. I am in heaven off heat here. I'm going to Oh, kind of sprinkle this cheese in there, mm -hmm. and I'm going to slowly get it to melt. So it's a really, really nice, shiny, rich sauce. Again, this is a not a uh, locale <laughs> <Again. laughs> keto-friendly oh dish. And again, we are not mad at you. Okay, so then all there's left to do is plate. So it's pretty simple, like after you've gotten all of it prepped from the day before, mm -hmm. you can put this together in a matter exactly. of minutes. Exactly, exactly. Well, that's great. Yeah, that's something it's to also, do on a Sunday, I mean, yeah. For how easy it is to, to make, it, it's our number one selling pasta, and people just really, really love it, you know. So from, from here, we'll go right to the plate, a plating spoon. This literally, uh, in yeah. One second. Second. I mean, yeah. With the exception of finishing the the putting it in the bag, yeah. All of it here, yeah. Oh, Chef beautiful, Aaron. Chef. Oh, that looks great. Goodness. That looks great. And of course, we'll check this out. Yes. And uh, we'll have information on your screen about Ala Vida and how yes. you can find it and all the information there. Like yeah, we have uh, Instagram Ala Vida Chicago and uh, Chef Partner Lee Wollen. Um, and pastry chef Kim Mock. We have an amazing wine director, Kim Beeler. Uh, Anna Thorne is our uh, bar director as well. I mean, the team is amazing, so 
Uh, without them, none of it would be possible. So we have the... Uh, and more cheese! And more cheese! Exactly. So this is the best part. You finish with more Pecorino Romano on the plate, grated. Oh. It's rustic, you know, family style. Yeah, yeah, it's great. And then from there, we finish with more black pepper. <laughs> oh, wow! <laughs> Voila. Oh, voila. And voila. That is fantastic. All right. All right. Tanya is salivating, so I'm going to let her come over and uh, <laughs> taste right. this. Chef, Chef thanks so much for Thank being you. here. Thank so you so much. We appreciate it.